Good evening everyone. So is the audio video clear? Can we start? Good evening Isra, good evening, good evening Jessica, okay, so let's start it, without wasting any time, let's start it, uh, first of all we are with Philippian tube, okay, so what is the uh, structure, uh, four parts of the Philippian tube, can you write down, what are the four parts of the Philippian tube, yes please, if we start from once in the exam, they have asked what are the four parts of the fallopian tube starting from the uterus and going toward the uh, uh, pelvic wall. What is What are the four parts? Can you tell me? First is, Dr. Isra, first part is interstitial. Okay. First part is interstitial. Is it okay? Interstitial, then isthmus, then ampulla, then infundibulum. Let me draw it. So, first is if this is uterus, okay, the part which is inside the uterus is interstitial. Very good, Dr. Jessica. The part which is inside the uterus is interstitial, then it is isthmus, then it is ampulla. And then it is infundibulum. Okay. So this order was asked. Was So this is interstitium. What is the another name of interstitium? Yes, please. What is the another name of interstitium? Intramural. 
intramural and cornual very good very good and what is this part this is isthmus this is ampulla and this is yeah yeah dr isra ja uh, where there are fimbria that is in fundibular okay so you have to remember this order also okay now tell me important point about isthma uh, important point about interstitium what is the important point about interstitium come on interstitium is the narrowest part interstitium is the narrowest part okay interstitium is the narrowest part and ectopic pregnancy persists most late right interstitium is the narrowest part and ectopic pregnancy goes very late okay so these both are pyqs of fng ki which is the narrowest part of the fallopian tube answer is interstitium the one which is inside the uterus and ectopic pregnancy goes here very late as per the logic says it because it is very narrow it should rupture earliest but because it has the uterus myometrium so it ruptures very late because it is supported by uterus myometrium so write down in the chat box which write down in the chat box which pregnancy ectopic pregnancy ruptures late which ectopic pregnancy ruptures late write down in the chat box chaliye next is the cornual part what about what about the uh, widest part which is the widest part very good which is the widest part which is the widest part the most narrowest was interstitial which is the most narrow uh, widest part ampullary very good and what is the importance of ampulla what is the importance of ampulla it is the site of fertilization and this is again a pyq of fmg the site of fertilization site of fertilization is ampulla and it is most common very very important thing it is a most common site of ectopic this has not been asked this can be your next question very good dr preeti very good dr jessica very good okay so what is the importance of ampulla it is the most widest part and it is the a uh, site of fertilization and it is the most common site of of ectopic okay now let us study about isthmus today many of you did wrong in the quiz i don't know why what is the importance of isthmus what is the important of isthmus yes come on this is the part which is ligated in tubectomy ligated or excise excision is done is one and the same thing which is the part which is ligated in tubectomy isthmus okay which is a part and ectopic ruptures here earliest because it is the second narrowest part it is the second narrowest part first narrowest was interstitium the second narrowest is isthmus and ectopic ruptures here earliest okay ectopic ruptures here earliest ectopic does not rupture earliest in interstitium in spite of the fact that it is the narrowest part because it is supported by myometrium okay now you all know now that the fertilization occurs in the ampulla now you tell me that what is the main reason of transport of conceptus the zygote it transports and goes into the uterus what is the main reason yes come on tell me what is the main reason yes 
peristalsis there are two factors which migrate that conceptus to the uterus one is cilia and another is peristalsis main is peristalsis okay the main factor is peristalsis a pyq of knee pg okay same examiners are making your paper and same examiners are making uh, knee pg okay so what are the main reason of transport of conceptus to the uterus it is yes it is come on everybody peristalsis very good okay now let us go to uterus that's all about fallopian tube let us go to uterus what is the size of uterus in inches in inches what is the size of uterus very good 3 into 2 into 1 inch this is very old mnemonic and that is how they ask okay 3 into 2 into 1 inch okay 3 into 2 into 1 inch very good very good okay now what is the main support of uterus very good dr israr very good dr jessica dr preeti you should also reply what is the main support of the uterus let us discuss support of the uterus then we will not discuss it in urogyny what is the main support of the uterus yes what is the main support of the uterus yes come on everybody levator ni very good dr jessica levator ni is the main support nobody will answer in the exam mecken rodet ligament mecken rodet ligament is the main ligament which is the main ligament what are the three ligaments which are supporting the uterus mecken rodet pubo cervical and utero sacral okay so which is the main ligament out of all this very good it is mecken rodet very good dr preeti mecken rodet ligament okay mecken rodet ligament is the main ligament what are the three ligaments that makes the triradiate it mecken rodet utero sacral and pubo cervical very good which is a secondary support can anybody tell me round ligament is primary support or secondary support it is the secondary support so no one of you will mark yes very good dr isra round ligament is the sec uh, is the secondary support okay the ligament which gives no support the ligament which gives no support come on everybody this is a most frequently asked question the ligament which gives no support okay the ligament which gives no support broad ligament broad ligament okay what is the antiversion angle very good very good dr jessica which is the anti flexion angle what are the anti flexion and anti version angle come on everybody what are the anti flexion anti version angle and what are the ligaments which maintain is the anti flexion is maintained by round ligament and the angle is 120 degree and it is the angle between the cervix and the uterine axis very good very good and the anti version angle is maintained by the utero sacral ligament very good and and it is 90 degree and it is the angle between the cervix and the vaginal axis very good very good okay now you will tell me ki uh what is the uterus and cervix ratio before puberty and after puberty what is the uterus and cervix ratio before puberty and after puberty come on everybody what is the what is the utero cervix ratio after puberty and before puberty no no dr isra let me tell you in detail
This is after puberty. Very good, Dr. Jessica. This is after puberty. The diagrams which we see in our book is after puberty. And what is here? Here the uterus is of double size. Then the cervix. Okay. And what is the condition before puberty? This is the condition before puberty. Okay. The uterus is of one and cervix is of double size. Okay. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good, Dr. Preeti. Very good. Now, can you tell me which hormone does this? Which hormone does this? Which hormone does this? See, uterus keeps on growing. Uterus keeps on growing. Till puberty. After puberty. It stops. Who stops this? After puberty, uterus growth is stopped. Very good. Who stops this? The hormone is AMH anti mullerian hormone the hormone is AMH okay anti mullerian hormone is released at puberty very good very good okay let us now discuss the various uh, epithelial lining are you ready very good Dr. Jessica AMH let us discuss the various Epithelial line. Are you ready? What is the function of ovary? What is the what is the source of AMH? Bitter granulosa cells. Granulosa cells. Ovarian granulosa cell. Follicle cells are of two type. So now let us discuss what is the lining of epithelium. Okay. So ovary. What is the function of ovary? Ovulation. Very good. O ovary only works once in a month. Okay. Once in a month, the epithelium of ovary works. So, the ovary epithelium is cuboidal. It, it does not have any secretory functions. Okay. So, it is cuboidal. What is the epithelium of uterus and fallopian tube? Yes. What is the epithelium of uterus and fallopian tube? Uterus and fallopian tube epithelium, they are secretory. So, uh, they have also to transport the, uh, uh, transport the material. So, it is ciliated columnar. They have to transport the conceptus. They have to transport the fluids. So, once the, once the epithelium is, is secretory, it shape is columnar okay so it is ciliated columnar so once in pyq of neat pg they have asked the uterus epithelium is single layer columnar or multi-layer columnar so it is single layer columnar okay what is the epithelium of uterus we know it is columnar but once in neat pg they have asked either it is single layer columnar or or it is multiple layer. It is single layer columnar. Okay. What is the epithelium of endocervix? Endocervix. What is the epithelium of endocervix? Come on everybody. What is the epithelium of endocervix? Be fast. Good evening Rachna. Welcome. What is the epithelium of endocervix? Endocervix has not to transport anything. Okay. So it is. High columnar because the cervix has to secrete very thick mucus. So, it is high columnar. Why it is high columnar? Can you tell me? Because cervix has to secrete very thick mucus. 
ओके ओके नाउ व्हाट इज द एपिथेलियम ऑफ एक्टर सर्विक्स इन वेजाइना लास्ट क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द एपिथेलियम ऑफ एक्टर सर्विक्स इन वेजाइना कम ऑन कम ऑन एवरीबॉडी कम ऑन एवरीबॉडी व्हाट इज द एपिथेलियम ऑफ एक्टर सर्विक्स इन वेजाइना stratified squamous because once it is exposed to atmosphere once exposed to air the epithelium becomes stratified squamous very good if you are not able to learn all of these then i would tell you please learn only this epithelium okay if you are able to learn everything it is well and good if you are not able to learn then please learn only this epithelium epithelium of uterus and fallopian tube is single layer ciliated columnar okay okay let go let let us go to the blood supply what is the blood supply of the uterus come on everybody very good what is the blood supply of the uterus uterine and ovarian ovarian artery also contributes that is why we ligate it along with uterine you have also to write ovarian okay along with uterine you have also to write ovarian ovarian very good very good ovarian artery also ligate when there is pph after ligating uterine we ligate ovarian then we ligate anterior division of the internal iliac artery come on very good everybody write what is the internal iliac division first of all you should know uterine artery is a branch of very good be fast uterine artery is a branch of uterine artery is a branch of very good internal iliac artery which in division which division everybody please write down in the chat box i know all these things you should know what is the yes very good anterior division internal iliac artery anterior division very good what are the other branches of uh anterior division how we remember it last time very good how we remember it last time what are the other branches total there are eight branches total there are eight branches what are the other branches come on everybody first there comes bladder what are the two branches to bladder what are the two branches to bladder dr isra come on superior and inferior vesicle okay okay we know ki bladder is anteriorly then comes uterus then comes rectum isn't it right first first what is anterior bladder is anterior so to the bladder which two branches comes very good come on everybody two branches of anterior division to bladder superior and inferior vesicle okay dr jessica what happened very good very good what are the branches to uterus what are the branches to uterus after bladder there is uterus what are the branches to uterus come on everybody uterine uterine very good and then what is the branch to rectum middle rectal middle rectal okay middle rectal what is the branch to thigh what is the branch to thigh come on everybody what is the branch to thigh very good what is the branch to thigh we will learn here only what is the branch to thigh obturator obturator very good what is the branch after thigh what comes perineum and perineum what are the two branches to perineum what are the two branches to perineum pudendal and vaginal what are the two branches to perineum 
pudendal and vaginal very good and what is the branch to gluteal here is the twist what is the branch to gluteal anteriorly there is thigh then comes perineum and pudendal right what is the branch to gluteal right the branch to gluteal right inferior gluteal dr isra superior gluteal goes to posterior division this is the most important confusion okay superior gluteal goes to posterior division so the anterior division branch is inferior gluteal this is very important thing okay dr isra what are the branches of three branches of posterior division come on right everybody surender gill s stands for sg stands for superior gluteal superior gluteal il stands for ilio lumbar okay ilio lumbar and ls stand for lateral sacral okay these three are very easy these three branches are very easy you can learn it with mnemonic short surrender gill okay very good you can learn it with this mnemonic surrender gill okay superior gluteal ilio lumbar and lateral sacral okay okay now we will also have one test here now let us study genital ridge makes which part from genital ridge what originates come on everybody ovary okay mullerian duct from which structures what are mullerian duct derivatives very good doctor jessica what are mullerian duct derivatives come on everybody be fast what are mullerian duct derivatives uterus fallopian tube and cervix and upper one third vagina so what are the mullerian duct derivatives uterus uterus fallopian tube cervix and upper one third vagina and urogenital sinus what does urogenital sinus makes very good come on everybody urogenital sinus makes lower one third vagina lower one third vagina urogenital sinus makes lower one third vagina sorry lower two third vagina okay very good now what happens in vagina what happens in vagina come on everybody what is the most common commensal of vagina most common commensal of vagina yes lactobacillus very good lactobacillus no doctor is right it is lactobacillus okay what does lactobacillus do it changes glycogen into monosaccharides and h2o2 what does lactobacillus do lactobacillus changes glycogen into monosaccharides and hydrogen peroxide this hydrogen peroxide makes the ph acidic it makes the ph acidic okay that is how acidity comes and who allows is glycogen to enter into vagina which hormone allows glycogen to enter into vagina come on everybody estrogen very good dr jessica which hormone allows estrogen to enter very good very good dr preeti come on which hormone allows estrogen to enter into vagina very good glycogen so now glycogen what does the glycogen does 
glycogen changes lactobacillus does lactobacillus changes this uh, estrogen influence glycogen into monosaccharide and h2o2 and this h2o2 makes the ph acidic now write down in the chat box very fast pre pubertal ph pre pubertal ph very fast pre pubertal ph very commonly asked question in fmg basic question comes a lot what is the pre pubertal ph 6 to 8 because there is no acidity pubertal ph everybody pubertal ph when estrogen comes and h2o2 is formed what is the ph 4 to 4.5 in pregnancy what is the ph come on everybody in pregnancy what is the ph in pregnancy what is the ph 4 because in pregnancy there is increase estrogen so more glycogen enters and more h2o2 is released what is in the menopause once again in estrogen has finished in the menopause like in the pre puberty what is the ph in the menopause come on everybody 6 to 8 okay it is 6 to 8 okay so come on now of uh, which this is vaginal epithelium this diagram is is of vaginal epithelium the superficial cells are made by everybody superficial cells this first layer superficial cells this red color cells superficial cells are due to yes it is stratified squamous superficial cells are due to estrogen if estrogen is absent like in menopause or pre puberty there are no superficial cells the superficial cells they are also known as mature cells below the superficial cells there are intermediate cells the one which is colored yellow the one which is colored yellow okay the intermediate cells are under the influence of come on everybody intermediate cells are under the influence of yes very good why there are intermediate cells due to progesterone if there is no progesterone then there will be no intermediate cell very good very good dr isra dr preeti why there are intermediate cells due to progesterone very good very good very good okay now let us study about vulva okay after vagina comes the vulva very good vulva very good now we will be studying vulva what is the lymphatic drainage of vulva what is the lymphatic drainage of vulva this we will study later okay this we will study lymphatic drainage we will study later okay what are the greater vestibular gland tell me what are the greater vestibular gland dr jessica it is inguinal lymph node this we will study later okay very good dr jessica it is inguinal lymph node dr isra it is inguinal lymph node this we will study later what of what tell me what are the greater vestibular gland another name what is the greater vestibular gland another name come on everybody greater vestibular gland this has been asked very good it is bartholin gland what is vestibule can you tell me what is vestibule what is vestibule which structure is known as vestibule which structure of vulva is known as vestibule everything which is inner to labia minora is is vestibule okay the all the structures which are inner to labia minora are vestibule where is the bartholin gland opens up where do the bartholin gland opens up 
two times MCQ has come in FMG. Come on, everybody. Where does the Bartholin gland duct open up? At the junction of anterior two third and posterior one third. What are the uh, clock positions? What are the clock position? Five o'clock or seven o'clock or four o'clock or eight o'clock. Okay, and it opens between the labia minora and hymen. Okay, and it opens between the labia minora and hymen. Inner to labia minora and hymen. Okay. Inner to labia minora and hymen. You are going to learn what is the treatment. Come on, what is the treatment? Yes, everybody, you did it right today. Write down what is the treatment. Doctor Jessica, marsupialization. What is the difference between marsupialization and IND? In marsupialization, we stitch the stitch wall. Very good, Mani Kanta. Very good. In marsupialization, what we do? We give an incision. Then the two cyst wall. They are stitched with the. They are stitched with the, with the, externally, right? So that the uh, cyst remains open and. Okay. Now we have taken cervix later. And uh, let us study what is isthmus of cervix. Fallopian tube also has isthmus. Cervix also has isthmus. What is the isthmus of cervix? Can anybody tell me? See, the uterus. We have already studied. Uterus is lined by ciliated epithelium. Some part of the some part of the cervix is also lined by ciliated epithelium that part is known as very good dr jessica the part of the cervix which is lined by ciliated epithelium is known as isthmus what does isthmus form what does isthmus form everybody this is second last uh, this is second last slide please be active what does the isthmus form in pregnancy? Yes, what does the isthmus forms in pregnancy? Lower uterine segment. Dr. Isra, where you have gone? Okay, now the this cervix is endocervix. Okay, and this cervix is ectocervix. Now endocervix is lined by? High columnar and ectocervix is lined by stratified squamous. Very good, very good. Now what happens? And at puberty, very good, very good, Doctor Isra. At puberty, what happens at puberty? Yes, the endocervix it comes out. Okay. This endocervix, it comes out like this. See, like this, the endocervix, it comes out. Okay. Are you able to see all these things? Very good. Now, and soon this endocervix is covered by This endocervix which has bowed out due to estrogen. This endocervix is covered by now stratified squamous epithelium. This endocervix is covered by stratified squamous epithelium. What is this? Now what is this zone known as? What is this zone known as? Come on everybody. This endocervix has pouted out under the effect of estrogen. What is now this uh, endocervix is covered by stratified squamous epithelium. What is this zone known as? This is very important concept. What is this zone known as? 
ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जोन इट इज नोन एज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जोन ओके हेयर मेटाप्लेजिया हैज अकर्ड नॉट ट्रांजिशन जोन बेटे डॉक्टर जेसिका इट इज ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन जोन very good very good and it is the site where ca cervix occurs okay now let us see what is the lymphatic drainage of cervix in cervix uh, cancer this question is asked the mnemonic of it is hopes x stands for hypogastric o stands for obturator p stands for parametrial e stands for external iliac and s stand for sacral okay write down in the chat box write down all the lymph nodes hypogastric obturator parametrial parametrial very good write down dr isra dr preeti write down hypogastric obturator parametrial external iliac sacral okay very good dr jessica dr isra your lag behind and so now you tell me in what is the most common lymph node where cervix drain it is obturator what is the most common lymph node dr isra write down and which is the sentinel lymph node in ca cervix external iliac very good which is the sentinel lymph node in ca cervix it is external iliac okay external iliac very good very good very good okay the most common is obturator c o common o b obturator okay c o common obturator the sentinel is external iliac very good the last slide okay the nerve supply is what is the nerve supply of the uterus these days these questions are coming very frequently on uterus nerve supply again the last important slide what is the nerve supply of the uterus t10 to l1 10 11 12 and l1 t10 to l1 okay what is the nerve supply of cervix and upper vagina they both have they both originate from mullerian duct so they have same nerve supply cervix and upper vagina ki nerve supply likhenge s2 to s4 right lower vagina and perineum region both are from urogenital sinus so oh the lower is pudendal pudendal nerve okay the lower uterus and the lower vagina and pudendal are formed very good pudendal nerve okay in episiotomy which anesthesia we have to give come on let us apply it clinically in episiotomy which anesthesia we have to give you all many of you did it wrong in the quiz local anesthesia okay when we apply forceps which anesthesia we have to give which anesthesia we have to give in local pudendal nerve block so today a question was there when we block pudendal nerve or in the pudendal nerve block the lower vagina is hmm, very good when we are giving, doing painless delivery which segments we have to block in the painless delivery when we give epidural which segments need to be blocked below t10 below t10 because tell me why below t10 because uterus nerve supply starts from t10 right so below t10 the whole segment has to be blocked okay and when we are giving spinal which segment needs to be blocked spinal mein kya block hoga when we are doing cesarean
पुरंदर नाव ब्लॉक इज अ लोकल ब्लॉक बेटा डॉक्टर इसरा पुरंदर नाव ब्लॉक इज अ लोकल ब्लॉक ओके इट इज गिवन इन पुरंदर नाव वी गिव लोकल ब्लॉक नियर सेक्रोस्पाइनस लिगामेंट इज द पुरंदर नाव ब्लॉक ओके इज इट ओके डॉक्टर इसरा नाउ लेट अस सी द इमेजेस आर यू रेडी फॉर द इमेजेस only three images for this identify this image what is this identify come on everybody write in the picture what is the treatment of it what is this image what is this problem bartholin cyst very good very good very good and where does it open beta it is near the sacrospinous ligament Where does this open? Where does it open? Tell me, Fatah Fat. Tell me. Now we are doing revision. Where does it open? Please be fast. Dr Jessica I have told you three sides where it opens Please write down it opens at anterior 2/3 and posterior 1/3 It opens at 4 o'clock position or 8 o'clock position It opens between labia minora and hymen you should know all these three places it will be asked in a very good very good lower vagina plus perineum dr isra answer is lower vagina and perineum very good What is this procedure going on? What is this procedure? Second image of anatomy. What is this procedure going on? FMG PYQ है ये. FMG PYQ है. What is this procedure going on? Please see it carefully, Dr. Isra. Which division is being ligated? Which division is being ligated? Which division is being ligated? Doctor Jessica, Doctor Preeti, Doctor Medico, F N G, Doctor Isra, please write down which division is being ligated. Yes, very good, Doctor Jessica. It is anterior division of internal iliac artery. Okay. Very good. Where it is done? That was the F N G P Y Q. Where it is done? Where it is done, beta? very good what does this a stands for
Which is this A muscle? Levator NI. Very good. So, this is the main support of the uterus. It is the main support of the uterus. Very good. That's all about images. Now, let us do the question. This is number first question. Write down. Very good. Write down. Write down. Yes, very good. Intramural, intramural. What is the another importance of this? What is the importance? Intramural importance. Ectopic. Persist very late as it is supported by myometrium. Okay, as it is supported by myometrium. Second, very good, very good. Take the second question. Be fast. Please write down why, why it is so. Why only isthmus is ligated, beta? Can you tell me? Why only isthmus is ligated? Chances of recanalization is maximum. Why it is isthmus is ligated? Chances of recanalization is maximum. Now you tell me what is the another significance? Ectopic ruptures earliest. Ectopic rupture earliest. Okay. Take the third question. And tell me why. Also tell me why marsupialization is the treatment. Very good. Why it is the treatment? Because pus is again formed. So, marsupialization helps to drain the pus even if it reoccur. Okay? Very good. Pus will not collect again. Very good. Very good. Very good. Next question. Epithelium of the uterus is? Write down epithelium of the uterus is? Write down in the chat box. Single layer columnar epithelium. Very good. This is PYQ. Simple cuboidal epithelium. Konse organ ki hai? Yes. Which organ is simple cuboidal epithelium? Tell me. Ovary. Very good. Stratified squamous. Write down in the chat box. Be active. Stratified squamous. Come on everybody. 
from these 10 questions if question will come from an odd meet will come only from these 10 question stratified squamous is of which organ Nerve supply of the uterus. Come on everybody. Very good Dr. Medico. Very good. Nerve supply of the uterus. Come on everybody. Yes. It is T10 to L1. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Pudendal nerve block is given at. Pudendal nerve block. Blocks which area? Write down in the chat box. Blocks which area? No, beta. No, Dr. Jessica. Pudendal nerve kaha supply karti hai, beta? Pudendal nerve supplies where? Well. Is it okay? Dr. Jessica, do you got it? Dr. Isra, do you got it? Okay, take this question. No, Dr. Jessica. It is A. Very good. Very good. Very good. Very good. Take this question. Very good. It is ampulla. What is it importance of ampulla? Write down in the chat box. Very good. Very good. Very good everyone. Very good. Dr. Isra, it is not the first to rupture in ectopic. Which site is Dr. Isra first to rupture in ectopic? Dr. Isra, which is the first site to rupture in ectopic? Dr. Isra, which is the first site to rupture in ectopic?
Yes, yes, very good. Answer this question. Answer is E. Because it increases with age because as increase estrogen with age. So it pouts out more and more. Okay, very good. Answer is none. As increase estrogen with age, so it pouts out more and more. Okay, okay. Chaliye, next. Size of the isthmus at term pregnancy. Can anybody tell me? Normally the size is 0 0.5 centimeter. In pregnancy, very good. It becomes 10 centimeter. Very good, very good. Last question of today. What is the cervix lymphatic drainage? Okay, so the lymphatic drainage of cervix is hopes, vaginal one third is hope and vaginal two third and perineum both is inguinal lymph node. Okay, both sub is inguinal lymph node. Okay, have you got it? Okay. The, what is the nerve supply of vaginal two-third and perineum? Can you tell me? What is the nerve supply of vaginal two-third and perineum? Lower vagina or perineum ki nerve supply kya hai? No, no, beta. Pudendal nerve. Okay, it is pudendal nerve. Pudendal nerve. What is the nerve supply of this? Doctor Isra, it is for both. It is for both. It is for lower vagina. What is the nerve supply of cervix and vaginal one third? Upper vagina and cervix ka nerve supply bologe. Nerve supply, beta. Nerve supply. Dr. Isra, Dr. Jessica, last question of today. Please be active.
Very good. S two two S four. S two two S four. That's all for today. Any query? Please write down in the chat box. That all for today. Any query? Please write down in the chat box. These are the three images which can come from gynae anatomy: Bartholin cyst, internal iliac artery, interior division ligation, levator, and eye. Okay. Any query? Please ask, or we will close the session. Is it okay, Doctor Isra? In episode to be, we give local anesthesia in forceps and vacuum. We give pudendal nerve block. 